Hey, what's up guys? I hope that you are all doing fine. This new tutorial on the gentletrainer.com will be about a very nice JavaScript plugin that I met recently. Uh, what this JavaScript plugin can do for us is, well, it will make adding footnotes on our web pages very easy and in a very impressive way. In fact, this JavaScript plugin is called Bigfoot.js. So as you can see, supposing that you have a text on your web page, description or whatever it is, and you want to display a block of information once the user click on this button. So this is what we call footnotes in HTML and CSS. So let's see the official website for this plugin, uh, which is by the way www.bigfootjs.com. Once you got on the website, you will find a, a, a live demo. So this is a simple demo. Uh, yeah, uh, it explains the user here how to use it and all the other stuff. But we're gonna do it on our way. So first, let's say demo. Uh, you need first to activate JavaScript on your web page or on your web browser. And this is another example. And why I really like this JavaScript plugin? Well, you know that adding footnotes on your web page is really a pain in the neck. But when I tried this JavaScript or this Bigfoot.js, I really got impressed with its simplicity. It's not it doesn't really require writing a whole bunch or a whole line of JavaScript codes or functions to be able to show these footnotes. I'll explain you everything uh, once we download it. Oh, sorry. So we go back to the website. Uh, let's try to download. We can, you, you can fork it on GitHub. So let's try to fork it on GitHub. Uh, I, 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 I'm not logging. So let's just try to download it. Once the download is done, unzip the file and put them in your web directory so you can access them. As you can see, there are many folders. First folder is from GitHub and the Git in general. The second folder is called script. This is an empty folder, contains nothing. Uh, but the other folder called script. Uh, so here we have the Bigfoot JavaScript library, so the definition and all the other stuff that has to do with JavaScript. So this is the style, so this is the CSS file for JavaScript. Uh, what we need to do is create an index page. So I already created my index simple page, so it is an image, a PHP file. And as you can see, I made a link to the CSS file that is in style and folder style. I made a link also for for a Google Fonts that I'll be using for my simple design. And don't forget to to link to the JavaScript file and ex exactly so the Bigfoot.js which should be found in scripts. And of course you need to to link to JavaScript folder or I mean the jQuery library, so I already downloaded the file from the jQuery.com and put it in my folder script, so here I am linking to it. And as you can see, a simple, <coughs> I'm sorry for that, so a simple header, Bigfoot.js plugin, and I think four paragraphs. And the paragraphs uh, have been generated with a lot of Epson websites. Uh, and this is how it really looks until now on my web browser. So first of all, let's add some CSS. And to do that, you need to open up the big foot default CSS folder, uh, file, which is in style and style folder. So, sorry. So first of all, let's change the background to another color, so 444 so I think I, I misread 
the background. Okay, and a simple style for the S2 header. Uh, first of all, the font summary, which is in this case will be audio wide. And this font, this is what I, this is the Google font I linked to here. Oh, yeah, so this is the right name. Audio wide. Let's define the color to white and text align to center. And let's see now how this looks. So refresh and yes. Now let's conf let's focus on the food now. So the first thing to do exactly is to uh, so the first thing to do is after you link to the file bigfoot.js which is the javascript library for this plugin we need to create a variable for, called bigfoot uh, it's going to be equal to dollar dot bigfoot and it's a function and that's it i think we all just need to define a div that will contain our food notes with the class food notes so that this is not displayed when the page is downloaded and the food notes are going to be about list items of an ordered list so list item one. So let's add, for example, tree. And we should assign to each list item a class called we not. And an ID, for example, would not or just fn one like that so i'm gonna just copy this and paste it here of course this is gonna be with not two uh not three so this is just how to refer to every footnote and here we can write a paragraph let's just for now try paragraph one I'm going to do the same thing with the other list items. So paragraph 2. Of course, you can put a, lot, a whole block of paragraph, a whole block of text. And what we still need to have to do is just to refer to the place of our footnote. So, for example, at the end of the first paragraph, I'm going to add a link with href equal to hash the id of the adequate full node and relation is full node i'm going to do the same thing with the other full node so for example let's say the other full node will be at the very beginning of the second paragraph so here at n2 and at the end of the last paragraph, let's say F entry. And that's it, well done. Let's see now the result. So let's refresh the page. Uh, well, I think something went wrong, so we'll see. Oh, so it's Bigfoot, not Bigfoot. Sort of that stupid mistake of my part. So when I. Wait. I didn't save it. Save and refresh. So, yes, so we have this little button paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. Perfect. Of course, you can change the, the style of the big footnote. For example, if you wanted to change the background of footnote, I mean, this the footnote button. So, I think you can change it here. So, let's try. 
right for example refresh just so I will let you with the style and you can change it uh, personalize it as well as you want and that's it we got to the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed uh, you like the idea and see you next time in a new tutorial